3,000 households in the rural Umshwati municipality are to benefit from a water project to be opened today. For more on this, we spoke to our reporter Mlondi Khadebe. Take a look. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Umshwati municipality where the National Minister for Water and Sanitation, Mama Lindi Wesisulu, is visiting this area as well as the Premier of Kwazulu Natal, Babo Sitlizigalala, to open a plantation in this area in relation to the water. We understand that the in this area, they are using the water from Umshwati River. Minister, thank you very much for your time. We understand the comment of this area have been using the water from Umshwati River. Can you briefly tell us what is the way forward from the government side? Well, you know, we... I'm beginning to understand now why the president has put human settlements and water uh, in, in the same ministry. Because this, uh, the conundrum we have here now is the people who live over there did not have uh, the necessary uh, water treatment plant such as we've built now. And Human Settlements is planning to put out a, a township of more than 500 houses there just as a start. But we can't have the township there without having a, a, a sewer plant making sure that we are able to clean the water, make, uh, take the effluent out of the, the houses. So this is for me uh, a, a pro forma of how I would like us to proceed in human settlements. For every so many houses there should be a treatment plant, there should be a reservoir, etc. So that the whole town and, and human settlement is self-sufficient with all of those things. So I'm very glad that we've been able to do this with Mgeni. It took them two years to do this and we are just being shown now where we treat the water and where the operations room is and uh, the message to me as Minister of Human Settlements on the other side is we can now put up the houses because there is uh, a way in which the waste water treatment will be uh, dealt with. Do you know how many uh, community members will be uh, benefiting from this uh, project? Well at the moment uh, the people who've been working here are, are from the local community. The people who will be looking after this place are from the local community because we are bringing not only the services but also the opportunity for work work and uh, as you can see there isn't anything else there's no other industry here so uh, the people here would certainly benefit quite a lot from working here and uh, as, uh, as we also build the houses the community will be helping us build here and we'll be hoping that uh, we can get one or two uh, consortia from them of uh, people of the what security services that will look after the place and also just uh, people maintaining the infrastructure here so it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of uh, work for the people who are living here and we're also hoping that to the, the business people who uh, deal with water will also get uh, an opportunity to get some activity it's been a very dry uh, period especially with COVID and we're hoping that we can empower them Minister, when we're looking to our dams, they are below, most of our dams, they are below 50%. Yes. What is the, the plan to try and make sure that everyone receives at least water? Well, at the moment, we are suffering uh, inclement weather. And that's as a result of climatic change. It's something that we cannot control. Uh, but we are working on a master plan to ensure that we are able to provide the minimum basic requirement for water for every for every citizen it is a huge task but we are trying to to uh, fast track it as much as possible we do have uh, an investment sector in this in the entire presidential investment uh, uh, forum where we are trying to attract investors into you know building to dams and reservoirs we're going to a reservoir now uh, because we are wanting to make sure that we can keep water, we can tap water from the ground and keep it somewhere for the community. But water scarcity is a problem for South Africa. And from time to time we have campaigns that say to our people, please save water, because we are a very dry country. One of the first 33 out of, uh, I don't know how many countries there are in the world, uh, and it's getting drier by, by the year. Uh, but we, at, at the moment we are still using groundwater and we will continue uh, using groundwater from time to time. There is rain, but it is not the most dependable way of getting water. Um, but the master plan itself deals with how it is that we are trying to solve the problems that we are dealing with. Minister, briefly, in terms of funding, how long did this project take and how much was it? 
Oh, I am. The particulars will be given to us now. Uh, do you want to come forward? How much did it take? How this, much? This yes. Particular project, um, to be built. Which, uh, to be built. How yeah. much did? It How much? It, it was 62 million uh, for this project. It took us about just as minister said two years to get it done, and it will service the 3,000 house uh, low cost housing and 800 uh, residential sites within the area. Can you have your names for our record, ma'am? It's Google Tungomo from Mgeni Water. Kukuletu, we understand that uh, this community is a rural community. What, how easy was it to work with the community in, in, in the Umtrati? Um, the local leadership, I must say, in this particular area was very helpful in terms of getting the labor on board, in terms of ad identifying local businesses to, uh, to, to come on board. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was uh, smooth, everything went smoothly and we made sure that we incorporate as much as we can from the community in terms of labor and, and, and businesses. I just want to introduce mm. the chair of the board of Mgeni so that should you have any more questions around this and how we're maintaining our facilities, this is the chair who will answer those questions. Oh, okay. And I will be moving on. Okay. Thank you, you very much. Chair, briefly about uh, the, 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 the Umgeni. We understand that Umgeni is also playing a big role in this project. <laughs> how, how much liters do we contribute to the communities around here because the project is still uh, in its uh, processes what we, we now know for sure is the amount of communities that are going to benefit as it completes uh, itself there at level uh, phase six remember we're launching here phase one to three when it's completed to go to phase four to six that would include Ilembe and the local municipalities there so it's quite uh, more than 500 thousand people that will benefit from the water scheme. Can you have your names for our record? Makasalam Zobe. Thank you very much. There was Babo Makasalam Zobe from Umgeni. Also the Minister of Human Settlement also briefed us about this project that uh, they it's just not that they want to give only the, wa the water to townships but they're also going to provide water to rural parts of uh, this Umshwati municipality in New Hanover. Thank you very much. Back to you in studio.